Welcome to Silver Pros, sponsored by SD Bullion. I'm your host, Silver Dragons, and I'm joined by my co-host, Yankee Stacking. What's up, Yankee? How you doing, SD? Great to be here. Yeah, I'm doing great as well. Really excited to be talking about silver bars versus silver rounds. Uh, it's the battle of the generics, right? Yeah, I'm ready to battle it out with you, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Come on, yeah. let's go. I'm uh, I'm showing off some of the silver bars here on yeah, my great. side, and you've got a bunch of silver rounds on your side. Yes, um, I do. You know, I was kind of hoping you could explain to everyone before we get started what a silver round is. I think it's the best described as a disc of silver minted by a private mint. Okay, so it it looks like a silver coin. It smells like a silver coin, but it's not a coin, right? Not a coin. No, it's a round. It It's not allowed to have a currency uh, stamped on it, like a, like dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, uh, you know, it may or may not have a date. Most of the time it doesn't have a date, right? So mm -hmm. it's just a round disc of silver. Like probably one of the most iconic is the buffalo round. Yes, like absolutely. One of the most popular around the world, the one ounce silver buffalo rounds. So yeah, you've probably seen them before at your local coin shop. You've probably seen them online. But uh, yeah, there it is. It's a, a disc made out of silver. <laughs> I like That's that. pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> can't use the word round in the definition. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's very true. So I guess the uh, whole point of this video is to talk about which one is better. So it's not really super clear cut. I mean, everyone mm -hmm. has a different strategy. Everyone has a different budget. But as we break it down through this video, hopefully you'll figure out where you lie, uh, which one is better for you. Now, just for context, we're going to talk about one ounce silver rounds, and we're going to talk about a variety of sizes in silver bars. Now, the reason we're doing that is because there are small bars. You know, we got one ounce, which is very tiny. Uh, we got 10 ounce bars. We got... Uh, well, there's kilos, 100 ounce, but we're going to stick to the main sizes. So we're going to go 1 ounce, 10 ounce, 100 ounce, and we will talk about the 1,000 ounce silver bars as well. Have you run into people that feel strongly one way or the other? In other words, again, I, you know, they say only rounds. That's all I'm going to buy. Or only coins or only bars. Have you Have you seen that? I, I have, you know, it seems like some people do have a strong preference one way or the other. And mm -hmm. I would say, you know, at the end of the day, you're converting your currency, which is being inflated away into real money. So whether you're buying rounds or bars, I think you're doing the right thing. But uh, yeah, it is interesting that some people have a strong preference. And you know what? We should share our preference at the end of the video. Mm, okay, let's do that. Okay. Uh, so let's get into this here. So we are over at SD Bullion's website, and I'm going to go through the cheapest ones available on their website. So the lowest premium for every single category here. So we have the one ounce silver rounds. And if you do the math, you're looking at a $4.19 premium. We go with the check wire and we go with the lowest quantity here. So if you just buy mm -hmm. one, it's uh, four dollars and nineteen cents over spot, so not terrible, right? For stacking, good price. Yeah. What do you think the one ounce silver bars are going to be? Do you think they're going to be more expensive or less expensive than this? If you had to guess, uh, uh, just a hair less. You think? That, okay. Okay. I'm, or it's I don't know. That's my guess. Okay. All right. Let's see. So next up, we have the <laughs> cheapest one ounce silver bars. They're actually more expensive. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Wow. And, uh, and neither I did not know that. I, I know, right? <laughs> you kind of think, all right, maybe they'll, you know, it's a bar, whatever. But really, a round and a bar, if they're both one ounce, it's mm -hmm. just a different shape, yeah. You know, I've heard it said that a round is simply a circular bar, and a bar is simply a square round. Is that true? <laughs> I mean, pretty much. 
Um, so yeah, these are uh, four dollars and seventy eight cents over okay. spot. So a yep. little bit more expensive. So you know, if you wanted to buy in the one ounce size, I would say rounds are a better option if you're buying online from somewhere like SD Bullion. Mm -hmm. But you and I both buy locally as well. We each have a coin shop we like to go to. Yep. And they price them interchangeably, yeah? Yeah, they do. I agree. It, you, you don't know. It depends on what the dealer purchased them at, too. Mm -hmm. Right. So where, where spot was when they actually procured them. Also, if they got them from a wholesaler, if they bought them from somebody that came in off the street, that's for your local coin shop dealer, that is. Or even an online bullion dealer might get a great deal on bars. And yeah. so you might see the, you know, the price, the, the price will vary. Sometimes the bar will be cheaper per ounce. Other times the, um, the rounds will. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I, I just think it's interesting that um, if you buy them locally and they're priced interchangeably, then it really purely comes down to preference. However, if you're buying them online from, say, SD Bullion, you actually get a better deal with the rounds. So I would say if you were going to yeah. buy them online, I would definitely lean towards the rounds simply because it's a cheaper option, wouldn't you? Yeah, I would. It, again, it did surprise me a little. I thought it'd be a little closer in price, but you're right. Rounds tend to be cheaper online. Yeah, so it was about a 60 cent difference, but I want to go to a different mm -hmm. size bar here, and uh, I'll just pull it up. So we have the 10-ounce silver bars. These are the Britannia ones. They actually are on sale. I got but, one of those. Those are beautiful. Dude, I have one too. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, now it says two ninety nine over spot, but that's for that's as low as right. So that's if you get mm -hmm. fifty, and we're mm -hmm. going with the uh, quantity one to nine. So mm -hmm. it's a three dollar and ninety nine cent premium. So this is cheaper than the one ounce silver rounds. Uh, so this is a better deal now per, per ounce, right? Per ounce, correct. Yep. Now you are getting ten ounces at once. So you need to factor that in. You can't sell them <laughs> one ounce at a time down the road. Uh, but it is a better deal. And I'm going to fly through two more here. Ready for the big ones? Yeah. Okay, we got 100 ounce, also on sale. These are 199 over spot. So literally, I mean, you're getting mm -hmm. half, you're paying half the premium uh, between the 10 and the 100. Any quantity too. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, if you got the money, I mean, what is this? Uh, over $2,600. Um but you're you're getting silver for two dollars over spot. It's insane. And uh, I will show the big boy, the thousand ounce. Uh, this one's not exactly a thousand because they're all odd sizes. Uh, but I did the math and it came out to ninety nine cents over spot per <laughs> ounce. So I mean, that is the cheapest per ounce right there. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. if you want to go really big, but <laughs> risk a hernia. I would yep. <laughs> I would not recommend going this big. I mean, twenty five thousand dollars. It's going to be hard to resell down the road. Uh, but there's also one other reason. It's the fact that if you spend more than ten thousand dollars at once, you start running into the uh, the IRS uh, little red flag, right? The reporting threshold. Well, with cash, yes. True. That is a problem. When right. you wire it, your bank will have to report it to the yep. IRS. Yeah. Uh, but it's still something that I would avoid if I could. So for so me, you, I would I would so not. You're buy drawing this. the line. That's where you draw the line. Thousand ounce bars. Yeah. I, I, I would not go that big. Okay. Um, I don't feel comfortable having that mm -hmm. much silver in one piece, right? Um so let's let's break it down here, Yankee. We have one ounce rounds and one ounce bars. It seems like the rounds are likely a better option. Would you agree? Yes, I agree. And you think they're yeah. more popular as well? They are. And it's interesting. You draw the line at a thousand ounces. I kind of draw the line at the hundred. I don't. I don't own any hundred ounce bars, so that that's where I I I wouldn't buy it. But I, I mean, the ten ounce bars, I do have some. Those are good. Mm -hmm. The the one ounce rounds is where I think it's that that's my preference right now I think but um, yeah I, I I agree with you the bigger they are the cheaper they are but I like the smaller denominations for a few reasons 
So let me ask you this. If someone was stacking on a budget, mm -hmm. right, like they could only afford a few ounces at a time and they wanted to pick between bars and rounds, you would recommend the rounds? Is that correct? I mean, yes, that that is what I would recommend, but not not strongly. It's not like they're making a mistake by buying a one ounce bar. Um, but I just one of the biggest reasons I like rounds is because it's circular and it looks like a coin. And I think mm. there is a psychological benefit to having, especially as a prepper stacker, having people see the metals you have as money. It just psychologically looks and feels like money. Bars, less so. We don't really transact. I don't think any country really transacts in coinage that are square or rectangular. So, you know, so to me, round is is money. Yeah. You know, I, I do agree there is the psychological component. Uh, now, if someone already has a large stack, they already got hmm. maybe monster boxes of eagles, uh, they right. got a bunch of rounds. They have a lot of the one ounce size already, and they just want to get weight. They want to get as many ounces as possible. They are getting a better deal with the 10 ounce, but they're getting, I think it's one of the best deals, two bucks over spot for a hundred ounce bar. I mean, I don't know. I feel like if that's yep. you, if you're in that situation where you just want the weight, right. it kind of seems like the way to go. Yeah. I, I agree. Get, get the weight. Stack for, for the cheapest per ounce. Let's get to the bottom line here, Yankee. What is better, right? That was the whole point of this. Silver bars versus silver rounds. If you had to pick a winner, what would you say? It's right what's on my desk right here. Silver rounds. I love silver rounds to stack, preferably one ounce. It's my go-to. It's it's my favorite. But it's it's probably close to silver bars just by a hair it's better in my opinion yeah i would say for me personally if i was on a budget and i couldn't mm -hmm. really stack heavily i was maybe getting started i would say the rounds are by far the winner that is what i would pick however if i already had a large stack and i just wanted to go for weight it's so much cheaper to get the bigger bars I think I would say for some people out there, bars are probably the obvious winner just based on the premium. Because when we're stacking silver, we want to pay the lowest premium we can, right? To get the most amount of ounces. That is the best way to stack the lowest premium. Get Don't buy things that are high premium uh, and stack that because you're going to be losing money. So I understand your argument, Esty. It yeah. may be as your stack really starts to expand. And you've got those rounds. You got the one ounce rounds. Then you start saying, "Well, maybe I'll get some bars, maybe some bigger bars." Yeah. So I think I think we agree. Probably silver rounds are the winner for most people out there. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna save a little bit of room in my heart for the for the uh, for some of the larger bars. I do think that for some people out there, the bars are the winner. But I think for most people, it's gonna be the rounds. Uh, so. For once, we actually do agree on something. This is great. <laughs> but I have to admit, look at those bars. Those are beautiful, I have to admit. <laughs> I appreciate it. And we didn't talk about all of the sizes. Obviously, uh, you can get 5-ounce bars, 20-ounce, kilo, 100-gram. There's a lot of other sizes out there. Uh, we just talked about sort of the common ones. Uh, There's a lot of sizes for the rounds, too. One ounce, two ounce, five, ten. It's still, it, you can get big rounds as well. That's true. All right. Well, hey, if you uh, agree with us or if you disagree, let us know. Put a comment down below in the comment section. We do want to say a thank you for watching, and we will see you next time on Silver Pros. Stack like a pro.